If you're still trying to figure out your summer travel plans, it might be quite difficult to find an inexpensive flight at this point. A new report from Adobe shows just how expensive things have gotten this year. Let's take a look by the numbers. 47%, that's the staggering price increase on domestic flights since January alone. Consumers spent $8.3 billion on air travel in May. That's up 6.2% from April. Domestic bookings for the summer are down 2% from this point in 2019, but Americans have actually spent 11% more, fully showing the impact of higher fares. And where are Americans flying the most? The top 10 destinations include Bozeman, Montana, Orlando, Florida, several cities in Hawaii, Austin, Texas, and Seattle, Washington. Internationally, we're just starting to see the impact of the U.S. dropping its COVID test entry requirement. United has seen a 7% bump in searches for international travel in just the first three days after the restriction was lifted. The U.S. Travel Association president estimates an additional 5.4 million visitors may come to the U.S. as a result, and there could be roughly $9 billion more of travel spending through the end of this year. According to the website Hopper, you may save as much as $100 on your flight if you want to travel in late August. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.